what's going on everyone? My name is Gary Blackwood. Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, note to self, put the memory card back in the fucking camera because it doesn't fucking work without it. Uh, anyway, um, for those that are expecting day two of the 3K6 match, unfortunately, I busted about 45 minutes into day two. Can't make a vlog out of 45 minutes worth of content. Got a nice 13K score, came like third, uh, 41st, something like that. Um, do not fear, however, if you're thirsting for day twos, I am here at the Encore uh, in Las Vegas and I have day two of the Mystery Bounty, $2,200 buy-in. Uh, there are 320 players left, we're all in the money, there are two 250k bounties in play and $600,000 for a first. Unfortunately, I don't have a great table draw, there are quite a few stacks that cover me and one very short stack. The rest are pretty average, which is kind of disappointing. You want a bunch of source stacks and stuff. But yeah, let's get straight into the fucking action. Uh, 8K big blind, 386,000 chips. I'm here, I'm psyched, I'm ready. Let's fucking do it. All right, before we get into today's action, I'm gonna do a very quick recap of day one. I fired day one C, the last day one out of three. It took 90 minutes to get a seat, such was the size of the alternate list. 3,000 runners in total over the three day ones. Great job as always here at the win. When I finally sat down yesterday, I was straight into the big blind. 30K stack, 500 big blind, the cutoff opens. I defend queen nine of spades, king jack 10 flop with two spades. He bets, I raise, he jams, I go call he's got king queen suited and i turn a flush instant double up good karma for not wandering around and skipping my big blind next up at 2k big blind i've got 140k at this point under the gun opens i three bet in the hijack with kings the big blind puts in the cold four bet i shove he snaps he's got red aces no help on the flop i stand up backpack on flush draw on the turn flush on the river putting my stack up to around 300k i grinded out the rest of the day when Winning a couple of flips along the way to bag up 386k in the money and into day two. The bigger bounties are on your screen now, but as mentioned in the intro, not a great table draw for winning bounties. Only one short-ish stack at my table and everyone else having 25 big blinds or more. But still, we'll do what we can. I've got off to a very good start with a bunch of very small pots coming my way before my table breaks. First hand of note, I open ace four of clubs and MP. The big blind defends. I see bet on king 10-10 rainbow and it gets through. Second one, the cutoff opens and I three bet ace three of diamonds on the button. He is one seat to my right and is staring at me for 20 seconds before eventually folding. I turn and ask him if he got a good read before showing him the three of diamonds. I start the day with 386k and chip up nicely to 480k and before the end of level 17, as mentioned, the table breaks, I get moved and once again, no super short stacks at the table. One or two sub 20 big blind stacks but that that's about it. Quite a few players actually have me covered as well. Really not ideal for chasing bounties. First hand of note at the new table comes in level 19, 12k big blind. I'm in race pocket eights under the gun. It folds around to the big blind and he calls off of about 20 bigs. The flop is nine, three deuce with two hearts. He checks and I decide to pot control a little and check this one back. The turn is a deuce, not the worst card and he leads into me for 25k. Easy call of course, not folding just yet and on the three of Hearts River, the big blind bets again, this time for 37k. Kind of a gross spot, really unlikely he has a worse hand for value. I sigh and call, and he turns over five three of clubs for a worse hand for value. A little surprised to see that, but I drag in the pot, and what's more, his stack now becomes quite short, and he's on my right, so I'm hopefully going to get the chance to stack him and win a bounty. All right, uh, end of the first part of the day, uh, first break, I have got 600,000 chips. I've chipped up very, very nicely. I've seen one river. Uh, lots of pre-flop stuff coming my way and uh, a couple of c-bets on the flop that have gone through. Normally <laughs> these c-bets get raised when you've got like ace-8 on queen dead 5 but it's going very well so far. 600,000 uh, up for, for first place and there's about 170 left. Uh, no bounties and no chance of any bounties at my table either. Everyone's got like 40 or 50 bigs which really sucks to be honest but uh, it's just the way it goes. But yeah, let's get straight back into it and hopefully we can pull a bounty uh, for 250k and fucking sail off into the sun. All right, coming back now to a 15K big blind, I am in middle position with a pair of nines and raised to 30K. The player to my left in the low jack looks at his cards, pauses, looks at the dealer and shoves. It falls back around to me. Quick count, it's around 200K. 13 big blinds and a chance of a bounty. Go on then, I make the call and he's got pocket eights. What a spot. Can we find our first ever knockout on day two of a mystery bounty? Yeah, 39. 
Yes, we can. Nine on the turn saves us because he also made a set on the river. I'm not going to draw my bounty just yet. Going to save it until later. Stack is now sitting very pretty at 800k. And next up in the same level, it falls round to me in the small blind with queen nine offsuits. I eye up the big blind stack. He's got around 300k, around 20 bigs. Limping is normally the play I would make here, but I decided to open and have a lower stack to pot ratio on the flop if he calls. So I make it 45k. He makes the call. There's a queen in the window but an ace behind it I decide to check this one and the big blind comes out swinging he bets 50,000 chips quite a big bet in relation to the size of the pot can't fold can't raise I make the call to the turn we go it's an offsuit five I check and after about three seconds the big blind moves all in for 200k it's a very fast jam from this player he's an American guy probably early 30s would he ever snap jam an ace like that I don't know man it just felt like he had a flush draw and wanted me to fold the type of hand that I have I thought about it for a long long time and decided to go with my read I make the call show me a flush draw no he's got ace five or two pair absolute terrible read from me I make two pair on the river instead of trips and unfortunately just like that I am back down to 600,000 chips I really don't mind the call it is of course kind of thin but I didn't expect him to shove so quickly with an ace never mind two pair no problem though just got to shake it off and keep on going Next up, same level, I am in the big blind with 10-8 offsuit. The low jack is the chip leader of the table. He raises to 35k. Easy defend for me here, and we see a pretty good flop of 10-3 deuce come down. I check and face a c-bet of 25k, which I, of course, call pretty standard stuff from both players. To the turn is the seven of clubs bringing a backdoor flush drop. I check again, and he bets again. I call again to the river. Can we improve? No, it's an ace. And when I check, the low jack does something very strange. He sighs and slams the table to check back i kind of think i might be good here when he slammed the table but he's actually really annoyed because he's got pocket kings i am now zero for two in the last two hands i've played and i actually lose a couple more very small pots breaking with a5 suited button versus mp and my cutoff open with king jack also getting jammed on just like that my stack has gone all the way down to 375k i feel like i'm playing really well i haven't done very much wrong it's just the way it goes in tournaments sometimes i'm definitely not panicking I definitely don't feel an urge to win pots or steal blinds or, you know, get it all in. You just got to stay calm in these moments and just keep grinding it out. What's more, I've made a friend at the table. Big shout out to James, a.k.a. Jimbo, for agreeing to swap 5% on our next bounty pool on anything over 100k. He is a complete stranger to me, and I am a complete stranger to him. So a lot of trust here from both of us, but no harm done when we go up together to pull our bounties. And not only are we both complete whales appealing them, but neither of us gets even close to a big one. $500 is my bounty pull. Kind of anticlimactic. I was dreaming of that 250k. Back to the action. My stack is now 265k in level 22. And when the player to my right busts, a guy replaces him with a 250k stack. I somehow have a player at the table covered and I'm thinking his stack size is an omen for the biggest bounty available. It might not be him getting knocked out first though. It could be me picking up ace king in the low jack with just over 10 big blinds. Easy shove here. Very much wanting action. It's not like I've got a hand like King Jack or Ace 3 suited here. And I'm going to get action from the cutoff. He flats my shove. And when everyone else folds, he's got pocket fives. Big flip incoming over to you, dealer. Yeah. Ace King and pocket fives. Ace King and All right, so I've paused it here on the turn. How about we make a deal if the river improves me and I stay in the tournament? How about everyone watching who is not yet subscribed takes a few seconds and clicks that sub button? Deal? 
deal. Oh, would you look at that? The river is a 10. You all knew it was coming. A huge double up here to 600k. We are back in the fucking game. I don't even have time to finish stacking my chips before I open a stack of hearts in the very next hand. The cutoff calls. He's the table chip leader. The guy with the pocket kings earlier. We go heads up to Jack, six, deuce with two diamonds. The table is empty as everyone has gone on break. Nobody sticks around to see me see bet 55k. The cutoff makes a quick call to the turn. Please no diamond deal it's an offsuit eight i think about check shoving but the rng lands on bet i decide to bet again this time for 135k again the cutoff calls to the river please no diamond dealer it's not a diamond but it's not the cleanest it's a queen there's about 450,000 in there and i've only got about 350,000 chips in my stack but i decide i'm gonna go for it i make a thin river shove for all the marbles as soon as i do it the voice in my head is like please don't snap call as i shove it in thankfully i do not get snap called and after 20 seconds pass i'm fairly certain the call with queen 10 of diamonds window has closed and i am now very sure i have the best hand i am begging him in my head to call and give me back to back doubles eventually he folds absolutely no complaints from me it is a lovely spin up in the last two hands and i've also needed to pee for about 90 minutes now so i finally get to go all right gonna have to do this really quickly because i'm on break but penultimate hand of the level i doubled up with ace king versus five fucking 10 on the river uh, and then i played that that ace jack hand um <laughs> shoved the river and i was like well, just don't snap call and then about 20 seconds i passed and i was like okay you don't have queen 10 of diamonds just give me a fucking call please but he, he did eventually fold i have no idea where my chip stack is i had to run to the bathroom because it was the last time before break and it was deep into the break because he went deep into the tank um, but now I don't have no idea what MHF stuff, so I'm gonna go catch them. Um, but yeah, super happy to be back in the game after grinding out that short stack for like 12 or 13 big blinds for like an hour. But yeah, back in the fucking game, let's go. All right, money stuff is now on screen. I forgot to do this at the start of the day. And immediately after break, they move us to a new table. I've got about 900K in chips, a delightful spin up from the 250K I had just a few hands ago. And I play no hands at this table before I get moved again. It's level 23 now. First hand at the new table, I think I kind of butchered. I am in an MP with ace eight of spades and min raise. The guy to my left calls in the low jack. He's an Asian fella, probably late forties and a solid looking British kid calls from the big blinds both players have got me covered i have 975k at this point three ways to the flop it is five 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 I decided to see bet here, but I don't love this in hindsight as the big blind is very likely going to have to fold. Remember, he's got lots and lots of hands like six do suited that neither other player has. And if the low jack calls, we probably have to blast this one off. And I really don't want to do that at this stage of the tournament versus a player like this. Sure enough, I do decide to bet 75k and sure enough, the low jack calls and the big blind folds. The turn is a six, not a great card to barrel. And I block hands like ace queen that might just fold now. So I decided to just give up really don't love the flop bet turn check line but i do decide to give up happy to see him check back some hope on the river and for a brief second i thought that the nine was actually an eight but unfortunately it is just a nine i decide against bluffing i don't want to bet huge and get tank called by pocket fours i wave the white flag and unfortunately my ace high is going to lose to his ace high he's got ace jack very annoying but kind of my own fault i really don't love the flop bet one bit here in hindsight for reasons stated still though i forget about it focusing on trying to go deep there are 60 players left and next up i look down at ace king also in the cutoff mp is open he's got a huge chip stack i've got 18 big blinds at this point and decide to go ahead and just shove it all in the button snap folds and the small blind snap jams oh wow i was not expecting that he's actually got less than me by about 130k so he snap cold in essence action back on mp and he immediately asks for account he tells us he's got pocket jacks i have no idea what the small blind has and eventually mp decides that his stack is big enough he can justify the variance and calling it off three ways he makes the call the small blind has got pocket queens mp has got jacks i've got ace king this is a huge flip for 2.2 million chips with 60 players left the average is 1.2 million so i'd very much like to win this one over to you dealer one time put a fucking ace out there we're halfway there. Oh man. Oh, I, I gotta say why I pulled it there. Oh, and a queen. Oh, all right. That's not bad. Yeah, not bad. Give me a 10. 10. That's so gross. 10. Come on,
a truly dramatic run out queen in the window to suck out all of the hope followed by an ace and a king to restore the hope followed by running sevens to drain it away again as we say in scotland it's the fucking hope that kills you the only saving grace is i win a very small side pot versus mp to give me 280k chips which is about seven big blinds i'm very gutted but i still have seven big blinds a couple of hands go by before i am under the gun seven handed with ace deuce offsuit now i haven't studied my seven big blind shoving ranges but given it's seven handed and i'm about to go through the blinds and antis i decide to go with it it somehow gets through which i will take very surprised by that in a bounty tournament once the blinds and antis go through though i am back down to seven big blinds i pick up queen 10 offsuit in the hijack once again i shove it in and once again nobody calls very surprised by this don't these guys know that this is a bounty tournament up to nine big blinds now and if i can somehow some way find a double i am back in the game once more and that opportunity is going to present itself just a few hands later i am under the gun still seven handed and look down at an ace and then a queen that is good enough for me with nine big blinds i shove all in the cutoff instantly reshoves i will take that we are now flipping for a 21 big blind pot versus pocket jacks i'm gonna stand up <laughs> fucking <laughs> Unfortunately, no bueno for me. The only saving grace is my chips go to a fellow UK grinder in the process. I sigh, I tap the table, wish everyone luck, eventually succumbing to a 57th place finish, good enough for $8,950 in total, and my fourth top 100 finish of the summer so far, getting close and really hopeful that one day soon we can run a little bit deeper and maybe make a final table. Guys and girls, that is the end. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed. I, I kind of no complaints though. I ran unbelievably well on day one and really quite well for most of the day two. Just that big massive flip with ace, king, three, queen, three jacks for literal chunks. Will take a couple of hours to get over, but I had a lot of fun. Another nice score of cash for eight, nine, fifty, including the bounty. Uh, the head and mob start looked pretty good. Um, yeah, I, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Do consider clicking that sub button. I'm away to the buffet to eat the fucking pain away. Peace.